And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you a cutout image text effect. I've seen this effect many times online. It's a combination of some of the effects that I've already shown you in my playlist. We'll start with this rectangle selection tool and let us create a new layer. I'll call it rectangle and it's important that it's transparent. Now we'll paint it white with the paint bucket tool. Just select white as a foreground color and a left click. I'll go to select and none to deselect it. Now I use the type tool. You can also press T for that. Then you press Ctrl A to select it. And now I adjust the size. Let me try 800. It's black. So I've flipped the foreground color again to black. I want to have a different color, use a different color. It doesn't really matter for this effect, but I want you to see the text. So I've made it black, but it works with any color. But I need to size it down to let's say 750 and I use the alignment tool to put it in center. And I'll put it a little bit down, maybe up to here. Next step is to right click on your text layer and use alpha to selection. Now select your rectangle layer and go to select and invert. Afterwards right click on your rectangle layer and add a layer mask. Use selection right here and click on add. Now if you make a text invisible, you've got what you wanted. That's this typical cutout image and text effect. And if I go to select and none, we're done. Well, let me go back, control Z up to here. And now I add the layer again. And here you can see it much better what's happening. So I've made the black text invisible up front. And now you can see that this layer mask creates our cutout. If you want to move it around, make sure that you've got the layer selected and not the layer mask. So there's a difference. Make sure that you understand that in your layers menu. If you want to reposition it, select the layer, not the mask. But that's already it. As I've said, the color of the text doesn't really matter. It only gives you the selection for the cutout. And this is how you can create this cutout image text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.